I was interested always in finding out the reason behind things. I was fascinated with the idea of understanding how the human body works. I really wanted to understand what was going on on a cellular level when there was a disease. My main goal really is to visualize cancer so early that we can cure it. When we are able to find a very early stage, we can cure it. So it's that simple. We really are trying to develop nanoparticles that illuminate tiny, tiny foci of cancer cells so that we can do really early detection and then just simply remove it. We know that our nanostars go to only the cancer cells and not to the normal cells. We know that they are so bright that they can give us signal from these very small tumor clusters. So looking at a particular cancer, let's say prostate cancer, we would specifically look at that organ with a Raman scanner to look for these very small foci of cancer. I started my lab basically knowing I had to reinvent the design of the nanoparticles to make them brighter. The main reason why having brighter particles is so important is that our end goal was to design the universal contrast agent that would be taken up by any tumor type. You need to have a certain amount of signal coming out of that tumor to see it. So our theory was that if we increase the brightness of the particles, more and more and more. At some point, we will see all tumor tissues because we will have surmounted this threshold of signal that we needed. And that's exactly what happened. Going back to the patient, what this means is we get an answer, yes, there is cancer, even if the cancer is extremely small. And it doesn't matter what type. It could be breast cancer, prostate cancer, pancreas cancer. We also designed our own Raman reporter molecules that are especially bright and unique in their signal and at the same time protect the nanoparticles and make them inert to the body so the body does not recognize them as a foreign. The other thing that's very important about the design of the nanoparticles is so that they are not toxic. That's the absolute key thing to make sure if you want to inject anything in a patient. Our end goal is to have particles that are green, that are super bright, that are finding cancer extremely early, so that we are able to find in any patient, in any cancer type, the very earliest stage.